So welcome back to my channel and this time we're on for another adventure. So I came back from Dobrovnik yesterday. The weather is too bad but today it's very sunny and I'm bringing you to one of Europe's smallest capital here in Podgorica, Montenegro. So it's a brand new day and I'm very excited to share to you what we can do in Podgorica for at least like six hours before I head back off to London. So let's go guys, I'm gonna bring my bag and we're off for an adventure. So stay tuned, be with me on this adventure and hope you will learn something as I feature you, Podgorica Montenegro. <laughs> So guys, we're now out here in Podgorica, in the streets of Podgorica, and now our first landmark is we're going to the Church of the Resurrection of Christ. So it's just like a 10 minutes walk from my accommodation, so I'm gonna let you see once I arrive. So Podgorica, on my first observation, it's pretty much a um, very low-key uh, type of city. Uh, quite quite uh, peaceful down here, actually. So. Um, I hope uh, we'll have a good day today and the rain has stopped already so it seems like the sun will be shining so soon, very soon and you know we're gonna enjoy much of our time here to make use of our six hours of staying here in Podgorica and you know what we can do and the things that you know we can see or we can do here in Podgorica for just like even half of a day because a lot of um, reviews I've read and I've heard from most travelers who have been here in Podgorica, they said it's a very limited city. But I guess it's not because, you know, it really depends on what you wanted to see, what you wanted to do. And also your gusto and your eagerness to like really explore the place. So, let's check it out. So you can see it from my side. There you go. So, that's it. it actually, it looks, like, it looks like the church in Belgrade, you know, when we went to Serbia very synonymous the design but this one is very interesting as well because this one is actually considered as one of europe's most renowned and most interesting and unique uh, orthodox churches in in the region so because you know it's uh, it's got a mix of italianate byzantine romanist and baroque style of architecture it was not uh, it was just like um not recently but it was like constructed around like 1990s 1993 i think this church and it has stood the test of time and Look at how magnificent the structure is. So nice. finally done with exploring this church so when i came inside uh, the church i was so stunned it's so magnificent all the eastern orthodox churches actually have really good impressions with me because of the frescoes the mosaics inside the byzantinian uh, vibe of the church is really amazing it's fantastic when you're here in Podgorica, this is one of the most iconic landmarks that you have to visit and you shouldn't miss when you're here because you know this one is really um, becoming a symbol now of Podgorica, this church 
and you know uh, Eastern Orthodox religion is very strong in the Balkan region so most especially actually here in uh, Podgorica. So now we're done with uh, the Orthodox Church of the Resurrection of Christ and now I'm gonna bring you to another landmark here in Podgorica and guess what where I'm gonna bring you I'm gonna bring you to one actually one of the symbols of Podgorica and we're gonna walk back actually to my accommodation uh, to my accommodation a few um, meters walk from there you will see one of the most magnificent bridge here in Podgorica. So guys I'll just give you an overview of uh, what Podgorica is and you know a bit of history of this um, small capital city here in Montenegro. So Podgorica actually has been changed into a lot of names so it was changed like five times and it used to be named as Titograd because of Joseph Bros Tito because you know it was part of Yugoslav Republic before and uh, in 1992 they changed into Podgorica and also this historical capital city of Montenegro has been bombed 80 times during the World War II so it has been wiped out so as you can see in here there are a lot of like remnants and most of the structures has been um, newly rebuilt because you know, of uh, they've lost everything during the war and a lot of rebuildings a lot of reconstructions has been happening so most of the most of the monuments here have been like totally wiped out during the war and um, also this uh, city is also known as you know Podgorica Podgorica means below the little hill so Podgorica so it's below the little hill because you know it's surrounded by a lot of hills in here in Podgorica so uh, you can see that um, Podgorica is also known with uh, a lot of um, national parks and a lot of like parks and lush green uh, woods down here surrounding the whole city and um, what else oh their currency their currency is also euro so you don't need to like worry so much about um, changing your currency to any different to uh, other different currency because this one although they're not like part of the European Union they are using euros as their currencies and it's much cheaper in comparison to like a lot of other uh, countries here so guys now we're heading towards one of the oldest bridge here in Podgorica so this one is called the Roman bridge so this is a very old bridge which was actually established during the Roman Empire the ancient Roman Empire because ancient Romans actually settled here in the ancient times and so there's like a bridge here that's still intact it was just renovated during the Ottoman Empire because you know it has been bombed the city has been bombed a lot of times during the World War II so they have to like replenish and they have to reconstruct the bridge but it's still intact it's just beside King's Park which is also one of the most famous parks here in Podgorica so I'm gonna see I'm, I'm walking down towards that area and I'm gonna let you see this old bridge so guys I'm approaching now the one that I've been telling you earlier the Roman bridge and also the Kings Park so this is one of the oldest areas here in Podgorica and I can see it from here it's just down on the river Look. so we're just gonna go down I'll find a way how to get down down here and you know I'm gonna let you see the old Roman bridge So guys at my back you can see the King's Park and also the old Roman bridge it's down there okay there so you can see the old Roman bridge we're gonna go down there we're just gonna cross this bridge down here I think it's the Union Bridge so we're gonna cross on the other side and then we're gonna go down and let's explore this park. We're now here in Kings Park, so finally we just arrived and look what I discovered. Their old Roman bridge is down here and the paths. Wow, I'm all alone here in the park. So it's all mine to explore. So we're now stepping here in the old Roman bridge in Kings Park and three cobbled stones here. And there's a lot of like remains of uh, probably an old uh, structure during the Roman times look on the top and you can see it's really very prominent here in Kings Park I 
I had a good time here in Kings Park and also on the old Roman Bridge, the old Rybnitska Bridge. And now we're heading to the main square of Podgorica. And you know what's very, very interesting and what's very unique here in Podgorica that I like so much is because there's a blend of nature in the heart of the city. And you know, when you're so bored and you don't know what to do, just go here in Kings Park. Just, you know, feel the rush, gushing waters of the river. And also, you know, admire the view. It's very peaceful, very serene, and very quiet. And you can really relax down here. And you know, very, very recommended. Who says it's very boring here in Podgorica? It's really not boring. There's a lot of things and there's a lot of um, places to see here in Podgorica. We're now heading to the city center of Podgorica and so we're done with lush parks, with monuments and now I'm gonna let you see the main square of Podgorica. So we're gonna head off just two blocks away from here and we're just gonna explore that place before we find something to eat here in Podgorica. So we finally arrived here in Trig Nesa Visnosti. So this is the main square of, in Podgorica. So there's like a big fountain, not really grand as grand as other parks and as other main squares here in Europe but this one is also unique of its kind so really pleasant here very peaceful as I said very nice weather as well we're just gonna enjoy the place I'll get back to you So had a very decent meal guys. I had gyros here in Podgorica, very good. And so we're on again, back on track. And we're heading to the most iconic landmark here in Podgorica, which is the Millennium Bridge. So it's just in, fr in front of me and there's like loads of bridges here. As I said, it can be called as a city of bridges because um, beside the Millennium Bridge, we can find the Moscow Bridge and there's Union Bridge and there's other bridges as well in here. We're approaching already the bridge. And I'll let you see how wonderful and magnificent this bridge is. I'm crossing now the Moscow Bridge and at the back of me is the famous bridge in Podgorica which is the Millennium Bridge. Wow, this is amazing. And there's a lot of bridges down here. Look, there are those bridges here, there, and this is the biggest one of all, the Millennium Bridge. So we're finally here in front of the Millennium Bridge and actually this is the most imposing structure here in Podgorica because this is like located in the heart of the city, in the heart of the town. So opposite side is the old town of Podgorica and on the opposite side is the confluence of the new town here in Podgorica. There's a big river, there's like a river that flows in the middle of Podgorica and it's really nice here actually, um, it's peaceful as I said earlier on um, people are quite reserved but they're friendly they're easy to approach to and uh, they will try their really best to like really speak to you in english and to like really communicate if ever you need help so it wouldn't be so much of a problem if you're here exploring on your own really nice area really nice city as well so we finally reach um, saint george's church it's also an Eastern Orthodox Church here in Podgorica and as I said, it's the oldest well-preserved structure here in Podgorica. So it's been standing here since the 10th to 11th century 
and it has been reconstructed a lot of times but still standing tall and proud. So guys, that concludes our adventures here in Podgorica, sa Montenegro. I hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed our adventures. And thank you so much for journeying with me here in Podgorica, sa Montenegro. You guys, before I end this vlog, I'm inviting you to please subscribe to my channel, It Can Be Your Adventures, and click the call bell button for further notifications. And also, if you made this adventure fun and exciting, it can be your adventures. Bye!